Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 7 of Daryl20's Let's Play series. Uh, we're gonna today, I think, for the most part, be ready to build our runic altar, which should unlock a bunch of stuff for us by way of Batania. So, like, cool items, cool features, cool gadgets, but also significant progression. Obviously, this is a lot of work. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple things, right? We're gonna need a little bit more than a stack of living rock. Um, we're going to need... Why can't I add you? Living rock bricks and some other kind of fancy living rock that looks all kinds of chiseled living rock. Okay, so that. So 12 chiseled and 8 bricks and then 4 mana diamonds, which between episodes I got pretty much everything I need. Uh, now, is there a schematic for that by chance? Because that would be cool. Uh, let's see. Skies, microfusion, spirit concentrator. I don't see anything in here. Am I missing it? I don't see C1 for, I don't see one for, yeah, I'm going to say no. So that's okay. We're building this by hand. We're doing it live. All right. Uh, so we wanted eight of you, right? Just eight polished living rock. Ew. Okay. One, two. So eight of you. Okay, and then you're going to be, and we need 12 of these, right? And that should be cool. Okay, easy peasy. Um, okay, so let's exploded view this, single layer. There we go, okay, cool. So I'm guessing that's a three by three. And then a three by three, but with diamond in the middle, right? So let's get these guys lit up again so that I can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie, easy peasy. Next up. Uh, that just looks like a five by five with a diamond in the middle. And then next we'll have some of the chiseled bricks, right? So five by five with a diamond in the middle. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, and then the next one is going to be the same, but then on the sides there's the chiseleds. Okay, so the chisels look like they go here, 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 and here. Okay. Cool. And then I think this will be the final layer now. Um, Kind of hard to see, but I think, where do the bricks go? The bricks might be around there. The bricks, I think, are, in, are on the sides of the diamond on the top. And then, yes, that's what it looks like. It's a little bit hard to see. Um, and then what is it? Like, just all the way around? Like, I, it's a little bit hard to see. You know what? There's supposed to be bricks in between. That makes sense. I was like, I have four extra bricks. Where did they come from? There's supposed to be bricks in between these guys. And now I think we're good. And then just drop a uh, mana diamond in. Hooray! Working! Delightful. Runic altar. Quest complete. Chapters complete. Chapters unlocked. All kinds of awesomeness. Cool. How are we for a spreader? We have a redstone spreader. That's right. We still have a redstone spreader. Uh, yes. Right. Um, that's correct. Yes. Cool. So let's get a new spreader. 
So that'll just be you. I can make that off camera real quick, right? Yeah, not a problem. Just, you know, any kind of living wood, which, how are we for living wood? Eh, we could probably use a little bit more. Eh, that just needs, uh, is it any wood? Looks like any wood will do. So I can do oak, right? Cool. All right, back in a moment. Okay, so then I just need a source relay, if I remember correctly. Sounds about right. Easy peasy. And that's going to be one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Was it seven of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, just six. Cool. And then let's not forget that we want to remove this. And this. And this. And then we should be able to source relay this thing. Nice. One of my source jars is empty, so we should go swap it out. Oh, that's right, my, my spikes are disabled because I was doing manual stuff in there, wasn't I? Oh, that's right, I'm doing that thing, aren't I? Yeah. Was I getting um, mob kills for that? Did that count as mob kills? I forget. We'll just leave it as is. Find out. Okay, spreader. Beautiful. And then you can spread her in that direction. Well, apparently not, but that's okay. Perfect. Ready to roll. Nice. Uh, I did, between episodes, make more cakes. Um, looks like I am low on milk. A not uncommon occurrence. Whoosh. Okay, drain all that out for me. My, you are out of peat, aren't you? I thought I had, like, more peat than this. I guess not. Uh, I should, like, run power over here or something. How close are we to getting flux points? That's a good question, actually. Um, so flux cores need ender cores, and flux dust, which is a metallurgic infuser. So that's not terrible. Uh, and flux capacitors also look doable. So I feel like we're pretty close. Uh, flux points. Now, is there like, is this like one of those like, I'm sneaky, I'm gonna... So that's flux plugs? Oh, okay, so points, so plugs are that. Points are even easier to get. Controller doesn't look terrible. All looks pretty within the realm of possibility. I think we could probably get flux points at this point. Am I wrong? Am I completely wrong? I feel like we could absolutely do flux points. That would actually save me a lot of trouble if we can do that. I should I should heavily investigate doing that because that would save me a lot of trouble. All right, so you guys are done. You guys are done. We should put this on the on the on the soon to do list. That is cool. Okay, let's check out our quest. By the way, we did update the pack um, between episodes, so that's cool. And thermal expansion. I got a hand reward for that. Okay, cool. So you, you. Now, uh, we did say we wanted force-infused biodiesel. Did that thing get fixed? Force-infused oil or diesel becomes force-infused diesel. It did get fixed. Yay. That's cool. That's a good time right there. All right. So I think what we should do then, right? Mechanism is the key to getting flux going. So let's do mechanism, which I'm pretty sure is the next thing on my quest line anyway. So yeah. Um, so to get mechanism truly going, uh, we're going to need osmium, right? So we, we do need a metallurgic infuser. That is not an untrue statement. We still need at least one of those. Um, and I'm debating like exactly where I want to set this whole setup up. That's a good question. Um, you know, this is obviously my, like, power area until we get some, like, more wireless type of power options. But, yeah, that, like, we could just do, like, a line going across here or something. That that could be cool. That could be cool. We should really do, like, flux ducts or something. 
rather than all these all these wires flying all over the place. That would also be cool. We'll get there at some point. You're still see you're still not dumping into an adjacent chest, which makes no sense to me. Now are you dumping? There you are, okay. He wasn't before though, right? I don't know. It was being weird. Anyway, let's do this stuff. Uh, so metallurgic infuser should be doable right now. Yeah. What do we need? We we need signalum, which we can probably get now, I think. Um, and then we need some of these electron tube dues, which, by the way, we can make these in induction smelters now. So way, way better. So glass and redstone. Looks like we're going to have to sift a little bit more dust. I should really like automate these in a better way at some point. Sweet. Okay, so more redstone dust on its way. Now signalum will come from, and I can get it in this thing, so that's cool. That again, just as a reminder, arc furnace signalum blend. Okay, and signalum blend needs that mana infused copper. So not too big of a deal. Um, and it also needs Electrum. Okay, so if we got that, and we gave it to our buddy over here to help out with. now and then some mana infused copper we'll go with that many just to have a little extra so you're gonna go there you're gonna go there and then we need some more of that redstone you guys all go away including you two and the invar ingots that I have for some reason I don't remember why and then we should have signal and blend. Nice. And that'll get me like two gears worth, right? Yeah. So I might be able to split this up a little bit without being too harsh on my power. Eh, that's a little harsh. That's eh, good enough. It'll be fine. It'll get there. You guys all go away. Perfect. Cool. Now, uh, I'm thinking I probably want more, don't I? Yeah, probably. So let's get some gold and some silver. And get to work on making more of that. You're still cooking up that stuff. Okay. Close, though. Let's get our first metallurgic infuser and then kind of go from there. Deal? Yeah, I'll expand a little bit shortly. Okay, so now with you guys good, we can gear them up. I think once I get laser IO, I can probably do a little bit better with that thing. Okay, so that's your signalum gears and then now you should be good to make this if I make a couple of these. Beautiful. First metallurgic infuser. Quest complete. Nice. Bing, bang, boom. Very nice, very nice, and very nice. Very good quest rewards there, friends. Okay, um, so maybe uh, like we'll have the, the, the mechanism line like here, just kind of angling off this direction and kind of go that way. Oh, that sounds fine to me. Um, and then maybe we'll have, let's get those redstone uh, or uh, flux ducts. Where did I put them? There they are. What I do need is a shovel. Oh, you've got, you've got a, you've got a drawer under you, don't you? I could move that drawer behind it. Right, because what we can do 
and then we can remove you. And instead, have you connect. Um, I can move you behind as well. So you're going to instead be a back orange. And what I can do is have you pop out there. You sit there. This dude. And hopefully you don't have any line of sight. I hate that. I hate it when that happens. Line of sight, please. Um... I know, I know, line of sight, it makes sense. Doesn't mean it's not annoying. And then you, I need an ax to break. And you will be, instead of bottom, you're gonna pull from the back, okay? Okay, that seems cool to me. So then maybe I want this guy to instead sit Here. Does that sound cool? Like the sound of that. Maybe just a Y level lower though. I can get under there, right? Nope. That is incorrect, sir. But I can do this. And then that. Perfect. So now you should be getting power. Cool. Um, and then if I want to, I can throw, uh, just a couple, uh, speed and energy upgrades in there, which we'll get more of obviously in the future. Muffling good. So now that you guys are cool, um, metallurgic infuser done. We'll probably want more though. We know that, uh, we need platinum. So to get platinum, uh, we need platinum dust, which is Isnium dust and diamond. Is that right? Am I remembering that correctly? Centrifugal separator of platinum dust gets me a chance at osmium dust. Okay, so we're going to definitely need that if we don't already have one. Um, and then we're going to want to like feed the platinum back in and like basically keep processing it until we get osmium. But where do we get platinum from? Uh, platinum, 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 platinum. There we go. Platinum is this. So it's, it is. It's isnium ingots with 50 millibuckets of diamond. Um, so I'm guessing the enrichment chamber is going to need steel casings, which needs my first osmium. So the first osmium I get should go towards an enrichment chamber so I can be more efficient with the enriching of things. All right. Uh, so how many diamonds is this bad boy going to take? Okay, apparently zero. Uh, let's try that again. Platinum ingot, uh, that, that, that. So basic chemical tank, diamond dust, or enriched diamond. Okay, so it has to be diamond dust. Now, enriched diamond will be from regular diamonds, but diamond dust, I assume my buddy can take care of, right? Right, Crusher Spirit? One at a time. Rip. I expected some improvement. That got me 10, so I'm going to need four more diamonds. There you go. And there we are. And now Isnium. Beautiful. And that'll be my first platinum. And I believe that's a quest reward. Haha, <laughs> quest complete platinum ingot. Nice. Ooh, I got a lot of dust for that. That's cool. Uh, and now we just need to centrifuge it into osmium dust, right? Uh, so do I have a centrifuge over here yet? Pyrolyzer, induction smelter, fluid encapsulator, magma crucible, fractioning still. Nope, no centrifuge. So let's get one. So centrifugal separator is going to require some Constantin gears. That doesn't look too bad overall. Constantin's nickel and copper, is that right? Ooh, we even have some. OK. 
Okay, so now we should have no problem making one of those. Um, I might want it here, which is going to cause me even further problems with all Mr. Wiry Wires, but I'll figure it out. Centrifugal separator. Maybe what I can do is run Mr. Flux Duck up here, and then you can be very kind and let this wire connect line of sight. Yeah, you can. Nice. Okay, that works. I'm cool. That's a little bit less ugly, right? Now, you are definitely going to have to have some kind of functional storage drawer. Now, my hope is, my hope is that this guy can't process. Um, so what I want you is on the up, I'm going to have you both input and output. So then I can put platinum dust in there. And then he should pull it in, process it. Okay, um, and are, do we have any extra augments? No, we get some, probably if I got some lead gears, I actually have some lead gears. Probably don't have enough for three, but you never know. Sixteen. Remember, hold shift equals no magnet. There you go. And then you can centrifuge a little bit faster, right? So he'll go. Uh, that's right. He can make he can make gravel too. That's the worst output, ish. Uh, so we should really have a two by two drawer here, right? So then you would be gravel, platinum, and osmium. Now before you pull, platinum, osmium, gravel, let's lock that in place so that it's always ready uh, for what we wanna do. Where's my lock-in dude? There he is, boom. Cool, and now from above, you can pull and push, right? So now he'll pull platinum dust in, he'll process it, It'll either turn into more platinum dust or gravel or osmium, right? And that is pretty cool, right? 75, 15. So there's a 90% chance of getting some, and then there's a 20% chance of gravel. Interesting. So we could lose, right? I guess. We'll just have to let it keep going until we... Yeah. It's definitely a processing line. See? And then he just keeps going. Now, 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 here's the question. You think that counts as a secondary output? Because isn't there like a better chance at secondary output kind of dude? Uh, auxiliary increases non-primary output production. What if I made some of these? That just needs bronze gears? I could do that. I have bronze, right? I could make bronze. Bronze ingots. One ten three copper. Cause that would be cool, right? I would say so. So rather than going faster, we increase the secondary output. Hmm. We're gonna want three of you. I like this plan. I'm hoping that counts as a secondary output. I'm going to assume that it does. And then we just need some invar plates. I can do that here, actually. I have plate molds, right? Yep. Very nice.
cool. And now we have a better chance, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I don't actually know. For sure. Like I can't I can't guarantee that. But uh Aside from it being a little bit slower, it probably doesn't hurt. Did we just get an Osmium and get the other one back? Because that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I guess in theory it's possible to get both types of dust. Neat. Okay. And then you can be what? Arc Furnace? Yes, but we need Ever-Burning Air to process this dude. So I'm assuming you go on the top right, and then you go in here, and whoosh, goodbye power. No surprise. 5,461 IF per tick. That's a lot of IF. That's a lot of IF. That is not a small amount of IF. Uh, for, for, for reference, Dash was 2048, so yeah. But it still, it, it goes. That's the key, is we don't need that RF per tick. We just, you know... We can have less, and it's fine. First Osmium ingot get. Woohoo. Okay. So that's more Osmium ingots for me as a big reward. See, that's what I like. A big reward. Hey, you got an Osmium ingot. Here's nine more. That's the way it should be. For sure. Um, and then we can get a chemical oxidizer. It gives you gaseous brine. Put that into a rotary condensator to make brine. Okay. So is that, like, the proper way to get brine in this pack? Gaseous brine turns into brine now what about thermal evaporation chamber that looks compressed iron plate dielectric paste copper plate why wouldn't i go this route am i missing am i missing something here this feels like the better way to get brine right i mean like doesn't that seem to be the better way to get brine Am I crazy? I mean, yes, no. How much brine do we get per salt? 15 millibuckets. Seems like a very small amount. That seems like an incredibly small amount. Why would I, why would I go that route? Explain, explain why I would go that route. Mm, don't have a good answer for you folks. Guess we'll have to wait and see. So now I got a platinum ingot. Can you like give me extra dust? I assume you're only gonna give me one dust, right? Yeah, just one. And then you would be more Osmian, please. Okay. Uh so that's where we're at now. So I definitely wanted to make an enrichment chamber first, right? That was one of the first things I wanted to get going. And we're going to need some more basic control circuits and more of these dudes. One, two. All right. And then we need you. Steel casing, get. Nice. Uh, and basic control circuits is mineral resin with logic circuits, remember. Logic circuits. So we're just going to need more copper wire, which is, remind me, it's the... It's that, yeah. All right, let me see. We'll make this dude here. Get this guy cooking. I got a bucket of mineral resin. Where does that stuff live now? Here. And yeah, we can automate this at some point. When and if we need more. Okay. And then, oh, look at all this uh, mana infused copper I've got. Oh boy. I know I had a lot of that somewhere. Uh, and then you what? Uh, this guy is 250 and 4, and that makes it in there. 
for me. Sweet. And that'll get me four of those basic control circuits. And then we'll be ready for an enrichment chamber, which is likely going to live uh, at least temporarily right here. Look at it go. Enrichment chamber get. And that'll make my diamond stuff way easier for platinum, right? So now I can do this. Okay. And mechanism upgrades, what are we looking like? Not terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Right? And now one diamond will instead give me its eight, right? Yeah, eight of that. Sweet. And then you can process and you'll use 50. Um, you know, so definitely better. So eight times multiplier. And then we just need to crusher you. Do we have a machine here that'll crusher? No. He's really my only crusher. My one and only crusher friend. Hey, what was what what the what? Hey, stop taking damage, buddy. Uh you don't know how to move? Like what's up? Good thing I have that thing handy. Okay. Sweet. And then you're off to the races. And we may... I guess it's possible, especially with these upgrades, that I'll get more than one osmium dust per platinum dust. Like, probably unlikely, but possible. All right. Now what we want to do is what? Good question. So you wanted me to do chemical oxidizer. But, like, I'm not seeing why I would do this. So I'm going to do this for the quest purposes. But, like, in my brain... I'm like, why exactly would I do that? Explain. Mm -hmm. Now, as for, you know what I'm gonna do? If I get another diamond, that would be 110 and then 190. Yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna clear this diamond out of here or maybe make another metallurgic infuser, we'll see. Um, but this way I can get some more platinum and we'll be right back well actually we're pretty close to wrapping up point aren't we yeah so how about we wrap up here it's a minute or two early but eh, it is what it is and uh when we come back next time what i'll probably have is another metallurgic infuser yeah i think having a second one of these is probably now's the good time to do that yeah we can pull that off for sure one two yeah, metallurgic infusers um, are definitely not painful to make. So let's move you, right? And then we'll metallurgic infuse. If I break you, do you retain your diamond? I mean, if I lose a little bit of diamond, it's okay. Usually what I like to have, usually what I like to have is coal, redstone, diamond, purple thing, right? So what I'll start with is you, who should be the redstone, right? And then you, that'll be the diamond. He did retain his diamond. It is his diamond. All right, cool. Um, and then that one for the purple. And then my enrichment chamber could sit honestly on either side. Because um, what we could have, if I rotated that thing, I could have my enrichment chamber sit here. And that would kind of be neat. Right? I like that plan. All right. For now, wrapping up point, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time and have some more fun with this stuff. So we've got lots, obviously, to do um, to get ourselves up and running, but we'll get there. For now, take it easy.